Um, some of you have heard about the new Windows Vista and maybe have been wondering uh, what's so great about it? What makes it different than XP? Well, who better to tell you than someone who bought it and is now currently running it. Okay, there it is. Um, I purchased the Windows Vista Home Premium Upgrade Edition, as you can see right there. Um, which means it has to be installed in a previous version of Windows 2000 XP or Vista. And my particular situation, my Dell laptop, I had Windows XP Professional installed. So I just did the um, semi clean install over that. This. If you can see, the packaging is kind of innovative, and the CD disc you know, flips out right there. It's actually a DVD. To uh, do this demonstration, I thought it would be best to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison. So, basically, I'm going to compare my laptop right here to uh, this older Dell desktop which is running Windows XP Home. The first thing I'm going to do is turn them both on and we can watch the two boot sequences, compare that machine. So they're both booting up here. After you enter the password, it basically says welcome, logs in, there it is ready to go, and uh, there's a new sidebar which you can see right away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in to this computer. I believe I don't have a password, so. Okay, two says welcome. I don't have speakers hooked up to that computer, so you can't really hear the login music. Oh, XP takes a takes a little while to log in. Still logging in. There it goes. Okay, you're now looking at the uh, basic Windows Vista desktop and the basic Windows XP desktop. Probably the biggest change, um, well, one of the biggest changes from Windows XP to Windows Vista that everyone is going to notice right away is the visual appearance. Um, Notice this has the, the Luna visual appearance, you know, it's got the blue, um, kind of got a 3D look to it. You can see everyone's pretty used to this look. With Windows Vista, they added what is called uh, Aero Glass. It gets that name because it's kind of got a glass-like appearance. Appear appearance. Um, if you look right here down at the taskbar, you see that it's semi-transparent, just like glass would be. Um, same with the sidebar over here, it kind of looks like glass. If you go into here and open up, a, for example, the computer folder, you see that it's also adopted this semi-transparent view. If you look, you can see the recycle bin through there, um, as well as the sidebar if you put it over there. The Start button on Windows XP opens up the Start menu. With Windows XP, as you can see, they added two panes, the left and the right, 
the left here are your recently opened programs as well as any programs you pinned to the tap as well as the all programs menu which lists your programs in different cascading folders you see as you mouse over they they branch out um, when you branch go into more they branch out even further and you know it if you have a lot of programs which this computer really doesn't have a lot but if you have a lot this can you know fill your whole screen and really can be kind of slow um, and then you've got your right pane which has the you know my documents my pictures my music my computer my network places that's everything starting with a my and then all your basic uh, system settings, you know, control panel, printers, network connections, all that kind of thing. On Windows Vista, they kept with the uh, two-pane style, but they took it a few steps further. When you click all programs now, rather than cascading out, it opens up inside the left pane. And you click on a new folder, it expands uh, down like this. This basically means that no matter how many folders you open up, it's all going to stay inside this one little pane which you can scroll through rather than cascading out onto your screen and really being cumbersome to nav navigate. Um, if you click back, you go back to your normal, you know, recently used programs. On the right side, they got rid of the icons. Instead, uh, when you mouse over one, you can see the little icon at the top changes to the uh, associated icon. Um, and they also got rid of the my prefix for all the folders. You can see documents, pictures, music, computer. Um, and then they also changed these buttons at the bottom. This one will simply shut down the computer. This one will simply lock the computer. If you want more options, you click the little arrow and you've got your whole uh, array of options right there. The biggest improvement by far biggest addition to the start menu would be the search box in the bottom. Um, when you open the start menu, the cursor is already blinking. So you don't even have to click in it, you just start typing. Um, say I want the program, uh, you know, how about Microsoft Paint? Just type the first few letters, and as you can see, as you type, it pulls up the programs up top, and you basically just can hit enter that'll open up the new program right there so very easy to find something um, the start menu will also besides searching your programs will search your documents so um, for example there's you know documents about me so I type first few letters of my name and you get a lot of things related to me you know my 19th birthday my contact card calendar pictures, uh, you know, a lot of things. And that's very uh, nice.